Oregon State Legislature could be younger than ever with five incoming lawmakers all under the age of 35 tipping the scales toward youth. K2's Salem Bureau Chief Melika Johnson has more on why more young people seem to want to run the state and what it means for Oregon. Melika? Well, you know, there is no official source that keeps track of lawmaker ages uh, through history, but we can tell you that anecdotally people here in the building say that, yes, this is in fact the youngest legislature ever. Something is drawing them here. And, and was asked, how old are you? Several times. Assume that I have a lot to learn, which I do. Five freshman house lawmakers born after 1972 are now helping to run the state. And I've heard some comments from other staff saying they really truly are the freshmen, aren't they? Hi. Hi. It is quite possibly the youngest freshman house class in history. It includes a teacher, a computer technician, and a mother of four. And I think that I bring a real life daily perspective of what that's like to have kids in school, to take care of getting their medical needs met. The founder of the Oregon Bus Project, an organization dedicated to engaging young people in politics, says 9-11 and the Bush presidency could have something to do with the young blood entering public life. The controversy surrounding the Bush presidency probably has elevated the level to which people in general are paying attention to public problems and to government. All five of the freshman House members are also Democrats. I am the youngest member of the House, yeah. Like 30-year-old Ben Cannon. The Bush administration has galvanized youth uh, in Portland and in the state uh, to become more involved. And I see that as a good thing, regardless of their politics. All of the three young leaders see themselves as optimistic problem solvers, ready to tackle issues like education, which affects their peers. I think around here, it's about ideas. It's not about how old you are. Smith agrees. You can be a heck of a leader when you're in your 30s. Martin Luther King, I believe, was 33. As to whether these young lawmakers will have any influence here in the Capitol, the co-founder of the Oregon Bus Project makes a good point. He says they all have a vote, and of course we know each vote counts. Live in Salem, Melica Johnson, K2 News. Okay.